Hello, my Capricorns, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie. We are reading for March 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th, and I have done an overview where I talk about the full moon that we're having. So I think it's the, you know, the date with full moon, uh, Virgo energies, justice. So it's an interesting time tell you about the cards I use. I do a reading about what's happening in the world, but I also talk about what's going on in the planets. And my Capricorns, even though there has been so much uh, with what's going on with you, with that Pluto and all that such, um, it is hard for you to say goodbye. It's hard for you to let go of the negative energies. And I'm, I'm hoping that's not for everybody. I hope it's only for just a few of you, and that maybe this is a specific message. I'm hoping that, but it's kind of like, you know, it, it's become comfortable, and it, but it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to move forward. Now, in that uh, video, I also talk about, or I also tell you that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? But it's time to say goodbye. It's time to embrace some new changes and some new positive changes. And let's see, that card has fallen down and it is reversed. Let's see what else we might have for my Capricorns. Yeah, it's time to do, again, it's that releasing and relinquishing and requesting energy. So all your cards are, Woo! I like this, all your cards are reversed. Okay, these two are popped up. So let's go ahead, flip these around, and we're going to flip the other. Oh, I love Empress Energy. Empress Energy wants to give you wonderful stuff. Um, you know, open your arms, say yes. Say yes to, you know, say yes to the dress, or say yes to what, you know, what, wants, what the Empress wants to give you, okay? May not be what you were anticipating or expecting, but it's something quite lovely. It's a lovely, lovely gifting. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. This is reversed. Here we are. Ooh, the King of Raphael. So King energy has the underlying energy of air. Air is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and Libra. Remember, there's changes going on with Aquarius right now. Very strong changes. In some ways, the um, with Saturn transitioning out, Saturn's liked being in Aquarius so it, you know, but at the same time, I feel like Aquarius feels like they've been released from jail. It's like they can now sing again. The energies can sing again. The energies can go after what they want again. It is going into Pisces, which I did talk about that too. So we'll see what, how that all works about. So again, underlying energy, sword energy, thought processes, thinking things through, making your plans, hearing news. Raphael is our Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. Lots of stuff going on with Pisces. Your energies will be very supportive of the full moon along with Taurus. So your, you know, yours, Taurus, and Virgos will be very, very supportive, and it will be opposing. It will be opposing. Excuse me, I'm going to have to cough a second. Hold on. Okay, I had to take a drink too. It will be opposing Saturn and Neptune in Pisces. So, you know, it's kind of like, like I said, there's a little bit of this friction energy between that and the earth energies. The earth wants to make things real. And then, you know, that, that Neptune and Pisces wants very much your dreams. And then we throw in Saturn. So it's going to be an interesting mix on that. So there is an emotional component happening around that full moon for you. Um, the king of Raphael is the one that I always say has been through the emotional ringer and has come out of it so much stronger, so much more aware, and actually so much more loving. It's really interesting that the king of Raphael would go through everything that he's gone through, and yet he loves. He loves more so, and I think he's learned that love is what really matters, and love is what is, what is true. Okay, so very high emotional quotient. Um, the King of Raphael says, trust yourself, trust your emotions, trust, trust, trust and love. Okay, so warm, generous, honorable, refined. The other part of what I was saying about, you know, hard to say goodbye, it's hard for my Capricorns to allow themselves to be vulnerable. Well, you know, it 
and I'm not saying, you know, that you should, because I will tell you the last, what is it, 15 years have been harsh, <laughs> but you're entering into a time, things are shift, shifting and changing, and it, it, it's really going to be, you're, you're really going to be allowed to be vulnerable again, and with love, with love. So warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So that's quite lovely. That's like trust yourself, love yourself. Um, you know, and I think that's really the whole thing. It, you know, a lot of things that have happened to you, my Capricorns, have been outside of your control. I know that there's there's things that you can say, yeah, you know, how I responded or whatever. But a lot of things have been outside your control. So now, it, you know, there is a shifting, there is a softening, you know, and especially with that Pluto thing going on, there is a softening. So things should start to be, should start rebuilding itself. I don't know, rebuilding, is that what I want? Because it's not going to be the same as before. I think it'll be stronger. Okay, so the page of Michael Page's underlying energy is yours, also Taurus and Virgo. Remember, full moon on the 7th. Release, relinquish, request. Michael is that air energy that I was talking about that's underlying Raphael, the king's energy. Um, air, um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So there's a lot of this, you know, there's a lot of things about your home, your work, your job, but yet then you have this Michael energy that's really kind of like thinking things through, Okay, there's something that's mentally engaging you, mentally getting you excited, kind of like, you know, seeing things for the reality that they are. Remember, pages are, they're youthful energies, and they really want to get started. They really want to jump in. Many times they leap before they look. The Michael might look a little bit more before he leaps, but he's still very excited about the future, very excited about the possibilities. So truthful, perceptive, analytical, and blunt. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. That also, that pops to me a little bit more. Again, I don't do legal advice, but you may, or financial, you may want to get somebody who knows that, okay? The empress comes to play. The empress wants to provide. The empress bears gifts. So we have a three. Three has um, creation, celebration. It also has the power of three. And, and the, you know, so there is that power of three. Let me go and see if I can uh, focus you a little bit better. What's going on? Why is my focus going out? Go here. Okay. So the empress provides, the empress has a karmic, res, you know, karmic type of resolution happening at the same time. So there is this gifting. There is this, I want, you know, things are happening around you. Don't build, don't delay. Not quite sure why we're not auto-focusing here. Okay, well, we'll take it off of auto-focus right now. We have Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the divine message, so you could be hearing some news. There could be some anticipation with this, waiting for this news, and then the news comes. And it's a, I'm hoping that it's the news you want to hear, but it could be a good, it, you know, but it does feel like the news is going to be good. And I hope that it's what the news that you've been wanting to hear. But the Empress brings gifts. I kind of feel, yeah, she's bringing gifts. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. May not be quite the way you thought, but it will be a good energy. It will be a good positive energy. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what else we might have. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else would you like to say to our Capricorns? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. This one is reversed. The five of Thought. So kind of going along with what I'm saying here, it may not be the news you expected, but the five of thought, the path you were on seemed like the right one. Really irritates me. My, come on. There we go. Maybe that's going to be better. Okay. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you, 
that will make you much happier at the end. In the end, changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or bring unwanted drama into your life. This is the Three of Swords. We had that in the beginning. And this is that sneaky snake. So avoid sneaky snake. But you thought you were on the right path. You thought you were doing the right thing. And you probably were at that point. But things challenge. Things change. Things change. So, And what this is saying, this is got, things are going to change for the better. Okay? Okay, let's see. Inspirational wisdom. Fairies and angels. What else do we have? For our Capricorns here, things change. You're, you're going on the better path. Again, it might not be. This might not be the way you thought. Um, and also, too, all of a sudden, um, I got a scholarship energy here. Like, you're, like, yeah. You know, and again, so I'm going to go along with, um, so say that you're going to college or you're going to start a new um, new education thing and you're planning on going to XYZ college or university, and all of a sudden you get a scholarship for ABC. So do you see what I'm saying? So I, I, like I said, I got a scholarship or money coming in, um, changing your direction. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Guardian Angel of Winter. Okay, Southern... Hemisphere will soon be entering there, but maybe this is a little too soon to talk about that. Your time is often taken up with problems that belong to others. Use your wisdom and the angelic energy to prioritize your own needs. Now that does that goes with that beginning here too. Okay, let's see what we have here. And what crystal or energy? So whatever this is about, like I said, it may not be the way you thought it was going to be, my Capricorns, but it is a good, it is a good change. It is a good positive. And again, I keep getting, I'm hearing scholarship, scholarship, and like I said, it's it's um, it's like maybe you want the money for this, but the money's coming in and saying nope, it's going to be for this. Okay, okay. Let's see what we have here, crystal or energy. For my Capricorns. What do we have going on here? Reversed. Moonstone. And we have a moon we have a moon, full moon coming. Female fertility, calming emotions, attracting new love, growth. Okay. I love that. I love that. Anyway, my Capricorn. So there's a change in direction, and that's okay. Because like I like I said, I keep getting like scholarship. So it's like the change of direction, whatever that is, then the money comes to pay for that change. Okay. Anyway, my Capricorns, take, you know, if you want to support my channel, the easiest way to do that is going down to like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications, and that's how you can do that. I am on Rumble, so Rumble me if you're watching there. As always, though, my Cappies, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.